Do you know the best type of option trade? It's the one that does not blow up your account every single week. Because as a new option trader, that's what you're going to be doing. Mainly because you're making the huge mistake of not selling options at all. So right here inside the Discord, you can see we've nailed a lot of call and put credit spreads over the last two months to get a 95% win rate. 17 winners, one loser. So this is mainly due to the fact that when you sell options, you collect money from time decay and it puts this major profitable strategy in your in your pocket so you can take advantage of a 70 80 percent win rate setup out of the gate without knowing anything about the markets so now i'm gonna take that to the next level because call credit spreads and put credit spreads can be used at the same time to double the money in the trade and have the same amount of risk twice the amount of profit same amount of risk so if we had a 70, 80% win rate strategy, we can still keep that with double the profit. So in this video, we're going to be explaining the short iron condor. So if this year you want to make trading and options your thing, subscribe and like the channel because we want to help you on your journey, charting, options, scalping, swinging, all that stuff. We're going to be teaching, teaching and leveling you up on the process. So iron condors are basically where you have the stock trade sideways. You want to nail the high and low of the range and make sure it does not pass the high and low. So this is great for markets that trade sideways. This is great for when the, the market makes a big move and you know it's going to consolidate. You know it's going to go sideways. So you can utilize this strategy during those times. Also, if the market you think is going to go sideways for months or years, you can do iron condors for that far out. You collect way more money for those setups, which we'll show you. So let's first talk about the iron condor and i like the site right here it's really useful it's called optionstrat.com but i do have the bear call spread and we'll do meta meta for an example so right now meta just hit these highs and let's assume we stay underneath it so the resistance level is going to be 125 and you can make the the width of the iron condor legs as much as you want, I'll show you the differences, but our goal is to find a high and low that's gonna be respected. So we have the high for meta, and I'm gonna draw the low down here, which is gonna be, let's say, $100. So I have that as a red range, because if we go through it, we're gonna start losing money. So we wanna make sure that we don't go through those ranges. So let's put in a horizontal trend line here, and then we'll do the math and show you exactly what needs to happen for us to make money, the risk in our trade, and everything. So the goal is we stay in between these levels to collect the full profit of the iron condor. So this is great when the market has a lot of volatility because the options are going to be inflated and the chance of them trading sideways and decaying is so much higher. They're going to decay a lot faster in these high IV markets like we have now. So um, that's kind of the iron condor setup. Let's start walking you through what it looks like, what the math is going to be. So I'm going to actually make this a $5 wide. So we'll make it $100 to 95 So we'll do $5 wide for the high and the low. And I want to show you how just adding the both credit spreads at the same time increases the profit. So for example, if I did a bear call spread on Meta, let's just go one month out, January 20th. So I'm gonna go where my resistance levels are. So I go back over here, we have 125, 130. That's kind of where I marked that range. So 125 is right there, 130 is right there. So if you look down, you can see my max profit in this trade is 158 possible dollars, which sounds really awesome. So if Meta stays underneath 125 or a break even point, we make money. So if we go above that point, 126.50, if we go above 126.50, we lose money. And the max possible loss is 342. And that would occur if basically we went up to 127.50 or something. So you can see on the chart, this is the power of time decay. Basically every day you're making money. So 1%, 1%, 1%, 2%, 1%, 3%, 1%. 
So you're seeing you're just having these percentages go into your account from time decay. And the best part is your break even price goes higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, mainly due to, again, that time decay working in your factor. So you can adjust all this stuff if you want, but uh, that's just the power of time decay. You can see that it's just moving the break even point further away. So you, if you just sit in this trade, it's just going to eat, eat away premium and go put money into your account. But the best part is, you know, this does not sound like a good risk to reward because you have twice the amount you're risking for a winning trade. Meaning, if you put $1,000 in, you can make 500. So you're risking 1,000 to make 500. Uh, a one to two reward to risk ratio ratio doesn't seem good. Everyone teaches two to one. You know, you, you try to make twice as much than you risk. But with shorting options, it doesn't have to be like that. So let's go and add the put credit spread here. So we'll mark that up here. This could be your call credit spread, and that's beautiful. So that's up high, and down here is gonna be your put credit spread. And this is gonna be, we're gonna mark that as the 125 and the 130 strikes, and that's gonna be $158 of money, possible premium. And we go down here, we're gonna mark these strikes as 195. So that's gonna be, let's see how much money we can collect. So right here, we go to build bull put spread. And all I have to do is start clicking off my strike prices um, to get that $5 wide. So bring this down to 100. And what, what you're gonna notice is this is not gonna be a good risk to reward. Uh, mainly because it's so far away from the price we're currently at. So the, the 125 strike is six points away. The 100 strike is 20 points away. So this would be uh, a bearish bias iron condor. You're expecting it to move lower because you put it at like the highest resistance level. So that, that would mean you're not going to collect as much with this one. So inherently, you know, this has a really bad really bad risk to reward with a $455 possible loss and a 45 profit. It's, it's a one to 10. So one to 10 is insanely bad. So we'll mark that. But the good news is we make more profit now in this setup and we have only you know the same amount of risk, if not lower. So we'll go down here, Iron Condor, and start showing you if you combine those together, you know, this is what it looks like. So we go to the 100 and then the 95, and then we go to the 125 and the 130. So right here, you can see that the max profit is now $200, max loss is 297. So it's almost a one-to-one. -one. With an iron condor, a one-to-one -one is perfect. You know, you're not gonna get better than that typically. So change your chart range your yeah, chart, chart range here, um, and you can see where your break-even point is, where your iron condor starts profiting, and where it starts losing. So the goal is to stay within the middle here. If you go too far up, you lose money. If you go too far down, you lose money, just like we show you right here. But the best part is it's a set it and forget it trade. So you put in, let's say, $3,000. You could make $2,000 in the next 30 days, 3K, 2K. I mean, that, that's a really good possible profit. And all we need to do is have this thing chop, 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 chop in between a 25 point range. It's, it's a massive range that we need this to stay within. So now you're wondering, hey Matt, you know, why can't I get this up? You know, 297, 200 doesn't seem great. Real easy. All you can do, click an extra expiration. Now, we almost have a one-to-one. -one. Go an extra week. Boom. Now, starts getting crazy. February, two months away, we start getting more profit than a loss here. So that means if we put in $2,000, we can make $3,000 now. It is the opposite of what it was before. Here we put in $3,000, we can make two, we flip it. So further you go out, 
more money you can make. Downside is you have more time to be wrong. So what I could do is increase the range. So give myself a bigger range here. So increase it to 95 and 130. So that's a one to one. I could go 135, 140. And all this does is increase my chance of profit. So what you can do is you can upgrade on this platform. I'm not associated with them. And then you can see your chance of profit. The poor man's way of doing a chance of profit is just going on Robinhood. <laughs> I hate saying that, but at some times, you know, Robinhood does have the ability to <laughs> quickly see things. And it does make it a little bit more convenient. But you just go on Robinhood. I feel so dirty saying that. And you go up to the 20th of January. You click sell, you click put, and you have this chance of profit already there for you. So the chance of profit, if we stay above 88, so I go here, let's go to January again. Let's do, let's do the same exact trade we did before, the 125, 130. So our break even is $98. So I go, see my chance of profit for a put, I go down to 98. And this is between 86% and 91. So a 90% win rate, boom, for your put credit spread. I go to the call, I check the upper leg here, 127, and I go up, 127, has a sell call, uh, I'm not showing, here's, here's 125, 73%, and then over here, <laughs> it looks wrong. This is 98, this is 99. So you could average those two, it's probably 85% win rate. So I showed you a strategy that, you know, you put in 3,000, you make two, 90% chance of profit. So again, this is calculated on math. This is not guaranteed, obviously. You have to understand that the chance of losing is still there. But the point is, people are blowing up their accounts it's really driving me crazy. In this recession, I see a lot of people quitting. All you have to do is drop your ego, understand how easy it is to make money selling options, and just do the boring, easy stuff. So we are 95% win rate inside the Discord right now for all these credit spreads you're seeing, and we're about to lay down credit spreads hard in 2023. So now is the time to try your 15-day free trial if you want. Let's do one more example and pop off. So SPY, the SPY, we have a channel right here on SPY. What would I do? I would probably nail some credit spreads higher here because that channel looks like it's still holding. Again, I don't know if this is gonna happen, but I just wanna show you the math behind it if it does happen. Let's just do a $10 wide spread. So let's do 360 to 340, let's do 410 to 430. So if we stay in between this level, how good can we get it? I mean, this is a 40 to 50 point level for SPY. So iron condors work best if you stay in between levels. You can do butterflies to go outside levels. Um, you can buy straddles. You can do a lot of different stuff to play the outside levels, but the inside levels, let's just check it out. S P Y. So again, what did I say? The 360, 340. 410, 430. So 360. Oh, that's so far away. 340, 410, 430. So there we are. Max profit, 300. Max loss is 1708. That's actually not great at all. So uh, I think with the Fed talking, the volatility and the option dropped a lot, but that is a massive distance between the high and the low there. So that is something I wouldn't add to my account because the risk to reward is greatly against me. Even though it's an iron condor, it's still greatly against me. So what I would wanna do is add expiration on this. So add an extra month, an extra month. You could see there's a one-to-one. -one. You even go to April, now you start breaking even there. So you put in a thousand, you make a thousand. You put in a thousand, you almost lose a thousand. So do you have that thousand dollars to make or, or break on that setup? So again, the key is you can add more time or 
you can just go closer to the, the strike prices. So for January, let's say we stay between 375, 365, 395, 405. So that's a one-to-one, -one. boom. You put in $1,000, you almost make $1,000. I think credit spreads are something that most people, again, are super afraid of, but it can be game-changing. So again, like the video, subscribe if you want more content in 2023. We're hoping to take traders dramatically to the next level, and I'm hoping, again, you're gonna be one of them. If you wanna trade with us for 15 days, hit the link below. That's all I got. If you want to watch more videos on credit spreads, I'll drop them to the right of me. Have a great week. Peace.